Let's start with your reading, Taurus. Today, we're going to look into your recent past, current energies, and near future. And then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages. Now, let's begin right away with your reading. Okay. Wow. All right. The main energy today for your reading is the lovers. There is a very special connection you're thinking about here. Could be someone from the past or someone you're just hoping to connect to. The energy between the two of you seems to be actually very strong and you both seem to want this connection to happen, but there is an issue. There is confusion and things seems to be moving very slowly overall, making you or the other person doubt that this is ever going to happen after all. There is still potential, but someone seems to be MIA right now and will need to understand why that's the case. So let's start from your recent past. And here we have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. I have to say, given the main energy with the lovers, this Eight of Cups is really surprising me because it looks like someone in the past decided to walk away from this, decided to give up on this for reasons that, again, we'll have to clarify. But what I see is that they didn't walk away because they didn't care about this anymore. There was still a lot of love. There was still a lot of um, passion and a very deep connection right there. But at the same time, someone decided to let go of this. What I see so far is that this person physically detached from this, but not emotionally, really. Emotionally, instead, they have stayed very much connected to this. And I do believe that this walk, in a way, is very much like pulling an elastic band, right? Eventually, when they stop the pull, they might come back right back to this quickly, suddenly, strongly. We'll see why the situation evolved the way that it did. Now, in the current energies, the sun and the six of swords, I just get the sense that you Taurus right now seem to be questioning your own trajectory. You're feeling the need to know what you should do next. The six of swords reversed talks about unresolved issues wanting to start anew, but having a hard time doing so because of this constant background feeling that connects you to, this, to that person. And you might be thinking to yourself, if I could only turn that off, even for just a minute, so that I could clearly see what I should do next. Hopefully, when we clarify, we'll be able to get more information on the current state of things because this is actually very important to clarify and to understand. So hang in there. In the near future, <laughs> Page of Swords and the Three of Wands. Here's the thing. This overall message is coming up for you now because it's actually preparing you for some sort of movement happening in the near future. The Three of Wands always talks about something happening which will help you move to the next phase. And whether it's going to be with or without this person, I believe that this is good news right now for you, Taurus, because there is nothing worse than wanting to move on but feeling stuck. Plus, we see the Page of Swords. Someone has been keeping an eye on you. I told you that emotionally, with their mind, they have never really detached from this. So we'll see what this is going to be about. Let's start clarifying and let's begin with your recent past. Hmm. Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Six of Swords upright with the world. Okay. You know, I definitely see that someone here uh, closed themselves off, you know, but it wasn't because of lack 
of love. We see it right here, in fact, with this Ace of Cups, that there was a lot of it. Mostly, it was because of fear. There must have been some obstacle in the way, in between the two of you. Potentially, distance or difficult communication. Something that brought unbalance into the connection. And for some reason, this person decided that it was best to just walk away. They convinced themselves that this was not going to work out and they wanted to end it before they got into this too deep. Now, obviously, I cannot see the exact reason, the exact issue that was in between the two of you, but I can definitely tell that this is a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity because of fear and confusion. But nevertheless, this was something special and chances are that it still is. We see a very spiritual connection between the two of you. The two of you completing each other. But at the same time, as I usually say in my readings, it's not enough to meet the right person. You also have to be the right person. And if something happens at the wrong time, then nothing will come out of it. And it seems like a better time is coming up for the both of you. Now, let's see what's going on in the present and let's clarify the current energies. Wow, Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Oh, Taurus, I feel your pain, you know? Because it's almost as if this person left a footprint on your heart. It doesn't matter how hard you try to ignore it, to pretend that it's not there, it doesn't take its power away. It's still very much impactful on you. It looks like on one hand, you're trying to move on. You're definitely trying to do that because you don't want to put your life on pause for this, right? But there is just so much that was left up in the air that it makes it very hard to not wonder, what if maybe we talked one more time? What if we try to fix things? Would this be the time when things are actually going to work out? Would this be the perfect cycle, the complete cycle from beginning to end? The main issue is that you feel as though you won't be able to find the same type of love ever again. And I mean, it's normal to feel that way. With the lovers as the main energy, it makes you feel almost like you're falling in love for the first time. But doesn't it always feel like that when we deeply fall in love? And doesn't every time that an important connection ends feel like that's going to be the last time that we'll ever fall in love? Make sure to not fall victim of your own emotions because the emotions will do that to you, will make you believe things that are not really there. And regardless of the fact that this is coming back in or not, this is the time for you to see this for what it really is. So we definitely see the anticipation of something coming in. But right now, make sure, Taurus, to understand that if loving someone makes you love yourself less, then you should take one step back and shift your perspective. You need to understand that your happiness, your stability, does not depend on this person, does not depend on this connection. And before this comes back in, because it will, you need to make sure that you believe that so that you'll be able to handle this incoming energy in the best way possible. So let's see what this is. Let's clarify the near future energy. Seven of Pentacles, the Empress. Ooh, and the Knight of Cups. Look who's back. I knew it. This is very interesting, actually, because I do see some sort of communication. I do see something that will allow you to understand what's going on and how the other person feels. And we'll look into the details soon. But what I'm seeing right away is that the way you are feeling 
about this Knight of Cups coming back into your life, into your environment, it's going to surprise you. And we see it right here with the Empress Taurus. You're finally seeing movement, right? You're finally about to get your questions answered. But you're starting to think, should I even want this? Should I even think about this? Would get back together with this person be a good move? Something that can actually make me happy long term. You know, from the first look, it seems as though the main issue that made you feel this way, made you feel lost, was caused by the fact that this person disappeared or acted disinterested. And that alone really hurt you. It made you feel stuck. But as soon as you see them coming back, interested, I believe that some of you will stop feeling the urge and will be able to make a decision based on logic and not on fear of missing out, which is definitely the main message for you right here. Something that right now you feel the urge for, it's coming back, but keep in mind to see it for what it really is so that you can make sure that whatever you're going to do with it once it comes back, it's going to be something that it's going to be good for you, Taurus, long term, not just in the uh, immediate future. Don't focus on instant gratification right here, because unfortunately, if you do so, it will keep you stuck. So we have a lot to look into over here. The main message is about preparing yourself for action and for things to change in the situation. But now let's see what exactly is coming your way with this three of ones. Let's see what it's bringing into your near future and how it's going to transform the current dynamic between the two of you. How is this all bound to evolve in the next few months? And what should you do with this come incoming energy? Let's look into it. If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, Taurus, just follow me. The extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading tours. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the Ace of Cups. All the cards right now are pointing in one direction. And the direction is pointing towards a conversation. Something that is coming in which will definitely... Oh, look at this. Eight of Wands. Another card that talks about incoming messages and movement. We see right here that this is not just going to be a conversation. This is going to be a very special one because with the Ace of Cups, we have a person who is being very honest right now. Someone who is pouring their heart out because they want to reconnect. Potentially, they want to explain why certain things happened the way they did. And right here, we see that this is going to be powerful, definitely. The Knight of Cups coming back in for a new offer of love. But is it too late? As we were saying, something has changed in the environment. Something has changed within you. Even for those of you who now are thinking, oh no, I'm definitely going to feel the same way when this finally happens. Trust me, the fact that this person is coming back in, it's immediately going to make you feel lighter. This burden that you had on you thinking that they just didn't care or that you were not potentially good enough, it's going to be lifted. And all of, all of a sudden you're going to think, wow, I already feel better. Maybe I should stop here. Maybe I shouldn't go any further into this before I go back to that situation in which I, feel, I felt burdened. So there is definitely something going on here that we need to look into because this might not just be you wanting to be happier in the moment without gambling with this person once again. It might also be you anticipating something that maybe you cannot explain yet, but that it's telling you, you know what, it's best to detach from this person at least for now. So let's do this. Let's start looking into this incoming energy. Let's see what this person is coming in with. 
Let's see their true intentions, true feelings. And let's see if they're actually hiding something from you, something that you should know about. Let's immediately flip the reading and let's see what this Nine of Cups is about. Wow, the lovers right away. Okay. All right, I have one good news and one bad news. Overall, what we see here is that this person truly...